Hello everyone, it's the D-Man here. Just uh, getting ready for a pre-Oscar afterthought. I haven't completed my thought to ponder for this month yet because it's going to be a doozy. And I hope I get my point across and I hope a lot of people will check it out. Really. And hopefully make a lot of people think because it's going to be important, especially when it pertains to Oscars and, and films and, and, and what have you especially since I am a filmmaker and I uh, hope you wish me luck that I'll be able to complete my documentary Eat Chips and Die at the end of this month so I could take it to the uh, Cannes Film Festival in France as well as other uh, film festivals throughout this year just uh, look for it just look for it anyway of course you know uh, back in January earlier this year um, there were the Academy Award nominations and for the second, second year, year in a row for the second year in a row, all the nominations from the acting category are white. No minorities whatsoever. None. And really, the only, pretty much the only black person that's going to be in the Oscars is pretty much the, uh, the host, Chris Rock. Now, there have been some people, I know you've, I mean, people have been saying, you know, a whole lot of people have been talking about it, uh, about, you know, whether or not should Chris Rock or other black actors uh, boycott the Oscars. Well, you already know the rigmarole, and and the thing is, well, I think Chris shouldn't shouldn't uh, <laughs> shouldn't work out because he's the host, and plus he's getting paid. So it's like, hey man, you got to make your money, you got to make your money. But there's a person who should who also agrees uh, with me that Chris Rock shouldn't boycott the Oscars. There's this young lady uh, who has a blog called AwesomelyLovey.com. And she has a great, great um, blog. And uh, one of the uh, articles that she was talking about, which she writes that Chris Rock shouldn't boycott the Oscars. And she says, I wrote some hashtag Oscars so white jokes for him. And she goes on to say that the pressure for black celebrities to boycott the Oscars is here. Yet Chris Rock was hired to host this year's show. Even Tyrese threw his hat in the ring, publicly asking Chris to step down as host. Sir, were you even invited? Did you even get a ticket? How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. I don't think Chris Rock should boycott the Oscars. He should fill his uh, he should fulfill his duties as host and go so hard about how wide the room is on stage. He should make he should make so many this room is so white jokes that everyone in the room is uncomfortable, shifting in their seats and chuckling nervously all night. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock as the host of an award show that has boldly excluded black people is a great visual. There's so many jokes he could tell because he'd be like one of five black people there. I'm boycotting watching the Oscars this year because it's boring, not because it's another year of whiteout. That's every year. <laughs> and I was there in 2012. I did press coverage on the 2012 Academy Awards red carpet uh, and backstage. She says, I was backstage during the show eating all the shrimp and cupcakes because they had Wolfgang Puck there. Well, hey, I don't blame you. Anyways, Chris shouldn't step down. I wrote him a few jokes that he could use. I'm going to go ahead and use my Chris Rock voice on the one on the jokes that she used. <clears throat> Dang, this room is so white. The Wi-Fi password is privilege. All caps. If this room got any white, no one would need to use flash photography tonight. <laughs> This room is so white. This room is so white that I want to ski through the aisles. So much snow. <laughs> and she says that even the New York Post got into the action. The New York Post had some that they posted. It says, this room is so white that it has one black friend. That's me. This room is so white they told me not to touch anything. This room is so white that Donald Trump doesn't want to deport it. This room is so white the cops you actually see are actually here to serve and protect. Anywho. If anyone could do this mission justice, it is Chris Rock. He is the perfect man for the job because he has never been shy about pointing out the absurdity of racism in his stand-ups. Uh, he doesn't need me to write him some jokes, but if he wants, my pity is for hire and my shade is for lease. I'm just saying. And so is mine, just in case you happen to be watching this, Chris Rock, Mr. Rock. Thank you, just letting you know. Um, <laughs> I'll be sure to watch clips of his jokes online the day after the show, though I want to hear the quips when he comes with. Oh yeah, here's one that was 
I guess one of the comments from our blog says, how about, this room is so white, the police won't shoot it. But um bum So, <laughs> that would be so funny. That would be incredible. This room is so white, there's a Starbucks kiosk in the front aisle. Damn. <laughs> That's good. That's actually good. That's some good ones. Uh, you know what? I might actually put in a few jokes myself. I might take one or two from the ones right here because they're actually good. Um, but I wonder, how would I do, how would I would be able to imitate Chris Rock? Well, first of all, I need to dress more appropriate for the occasion and I got to have more, more of an Oscar-ish atmosphere. I wonder how I can do that. Hmm. Hey, 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 not bad, not bad. Welcome to, oh, I gotta do my Chris Rock voice. <clears throat> Come on, everybody sit down, sit down. <laughs> Welcome to the 88 Oscars, the Academy Awards, sponsored by Clorox. Everybody been tweeting me, trying to give me these jokes. I'm gonna go ahead and get the best ones. All right, here we go. The Oscars are white. How white are they? they? I saw a groundhog see a shadow and we have six more weeks of weather. <laughs> the Oscars are so white. How white are they? Man, they can't even hang out with their friends after Labor Day. The Oscars are so white. How white are they? Man, El Chapo want to sell, sell the audience by the kilo the next time he tries a way to escape from prison again. <laughs> the Oscars are so white. How white are they? The Oscars are so white. The audience gets stripped down to their underwear and make angels in the snow and still get a suntan at the same time. The Oscars are white. How white are they? Man, not even a Kardashian would date it. The Oscars are white. How white are they? The police are actually there to serve and protect. In fact, they don't even have any guns. The Oscars are white. Lizzie Lohan ain't want to snort it. Yeah, I got one more. I got one more. One more. Okay. The Oscars so bright. The Oscars are white. How white are they? Man, it's so bright. I gotta wear shades. <laughs> yes! Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you, Awesomely Loving, for your, for your article, for your blog. Be sure to check her out uh, on Facebook and online. Please like and comment on this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Chris Rock, I hope you do a wonderful job hosting the Academy Awards. I hope you go Ricky Gervais on them. Uh, and by the way, I'm on Twitter at dbarry478. So just in case you need somebody, you know, to play like you know, like your zebra little brother or something like Marty's uh, little brother. Manny or Lanny or something like that in Madagascar 4 or 5, give me a tweet. I'm available. I'm available. That's all I have right here. And by the way, can't forget, be sure to check out Chris Rock hosting the Oscars Sunday night, February 28th on ABC. Until next time, this is the D-Man here, Derek Barrett, and that was my pre-Oscar afterthought. Thanks for watching, and DBF.